So one of the ways I'm able to test a ton of products on TikTok shop and TikTok affiliates super fast is because it doesn't take a lot of my time and it doesn't take a lot of my money, right? I'm able to leverage a software like Creatify AI in this case, where I don't actually need to order the product to me ahead of time, wait for it to actually come, spend the money to make the purchase, and then spend my time, my sweat equity, recording the video, editing it, and uploading it, right? Instead, I can utilize this software very easily to make high quality product videos in the beginning to test and prove the concept of a product without ever needing the actual product on hand. It allows me to actually go through, do product research on numerous products, and then find one that actually works and make videos on it, a bunch of them, the same exact day very quickly. I don't need to spend any time, so there's less friction and less time spent in between the time where I find the actual product and I'm able to actually get videos up and test it. Then ultimately, when I prove the concept, I might go a little further later, but in the beginning, just to prove the concept with the minimum viable product approach, I like to use Creatify AI. It is the best way to do it, right? Because it allows you to utilize listings on Amazon or product videos on TikTok already that you already have at your disposal without needing to spend the money to purchase the product to you and you can test product after product after product to find a winner so much faster. So I've made so many tutorials on how to use this software in the past. I've done four or five now because it is still something that I use to this date to test products and prove the concept. So I want to run through another example and show you how I'm using this now to make product videos very quickly, regardless of the niche test products and upload them to TikTok shop to find winners, which I can scale. So I found a product that's super niche. I'm testing an actual new niche, right? And this product is super specific, super niche. It is a water table pump for kids. Parents order their kids these water table things. And as you can see here in the actual picture, the water drips down from the top. The issue is though, as you can see, everything's grayed out in this picture on purpose, everything in gray comes in the water table already. However, the main issue is you need to constantly manually pour the water on top for it to actually drip down like you see in the picture, which is you know, the most engaging part of the water table for young kids in my opinion. And clearly it's a massive problem that all of these have. And so they sell these pumps like you see here. This is an example of one, although there's several different kinds second hand, hence what we're going to potentially test here in the video to drop ship that solves that problem for you, right? Because now you can utilize the pump. You can sell it directly to actual people with water tables. So you have a really niche market. You know who your target customer is and you can directly speak to that person and solve a problem that they have, right? So not only does this product solve a problem, not only can you source it relatively cheap and mark it up. So there's plenty of margin there but it also has viral potential because it's kind of a cool, innovative product that you can showcase in a video that's gonna stop someone from scrolling that's in your target market, where they're gonna think, oh, that's cool, and oh yeah, I need that, that solves my problem, right? So this is a very specific product. I don't always go super specific like this. This is probably has a lot less scalability, but a lot higher floor of a product, so that can be good from time to time. So the first thing that you wanna do, obviously, when you sign up for Creatify AI, is you go to Create now there's a number of different ways that you can utilize this software. And one of the things that they launched recently was the actual AI avatars that put them in your video. I will show you an example of them here in a second, but you don't need to know any of that right now. All you really need to do is find the link to your supplier product. As you can see here, we found it on Amazon. So that's the first way to that you can utilize it, right? All it is, is a link to video AI tool that's gonna create an engaging, amazing tutorial for you. So you click create now and you see that it supports all these different types of websites and products on them. It will pull the actual data from it, meaning the title, the description, all the information on the listing, the pictures, and most importantly for this case, the review videos as well, because you can see here that there's tons of people that are reviewing this right here, like Amazon influencers. And we can then automatically put those videos into Creatify AI, and it's gonna chop all the videos up, make a brand new video for us that looks engaging. So we don't have to record the content ourselves and it looks great. So we're gonna paste the link in there like that. And then it's gonna come back with the actual product name that it pulled, the description of the product, as well as all the media that it downloaded as well. So you can always click edit here if you wanna delete some of the media. If you don't want it to use a specific image, you could always delete that. If you only wanted to use the actual product videos, then you can delete all the images. 
but I'm for the sake of just showing this gonna save it so that it can potentially use the actual product images as well. Then we're gonna click next. Now you wanna specify the time and the aspect ratio of the actual video, right? Well, obviously if we're creating videos for TikTok shop in this case, we're gonna keep the aspect ratio at nine by 16. The video length, you can go 60 or 30. Obviously it's gonna depend on how engaging your video is. Watch time is a major factor. So if you can get longer engagement on a longer watch time video, that video has a chance to potentially go viral, of course. Although if you have a higher amount of retention on a 15 second video, that also has a chance to go viral. And so for the majority of you, I would recommend in the beginning to pick 15 seconds, not because one is better than the other per se, but simply because it's less time to actually edit and you can make a lot more videos to test products a lot faster. If you know your target audience, you can obviously put keywords in here about who they are. We're gonna leave that blank for the sake of this video. Then you click next and it's actually going to go through, utilize all that those assets and make a banger video for you. Now, the next thing that you wanna do while it's analyzing that is specify the actual script, right? So there's tons of AI generated scripts here for you based on all the information that it pulled from the actual product listing on Amazon. So to read a few of them here, ever struggle to keep the kid's water table filled for endless play? The two-way water table pump keeps the fun flowing with continuous water circulation, no refills needed, get yours today and make outdoor play on for unforgettable. The motivational one, the story time one, you can scroll down and generate more scripts if you don't like those you could also select them and personalize them or you can even if you already have a script or you want to write one for yourself you can just do it yourself and then input that script so i'm going to go with the problem solution i'm just going to edit it a little bit here and you don't have to edit them right you could just use the ai scripts that it generates although i typically what i like to do is i'll go off an ai script to kind of break that writer's block initially and then i'll adjust it slightly so that it looks it sounds a little bit better it sounds more like i'm saying it it sounds more like it's a human actually speaking although these AI ones are great with a little bit of tweaking and now we're gonna select that one and click next and then it's gonna run all that information that we gave it to create a video which we can then edit to make great looking now while this is editing another really cool thing that you could do that's one way right URL very simple to video you don't need anything you don't need any assets to do that you can pretty much do that on any listing assuming that you can find a product very similar on Amazon that has a lot of assets meaning a lot of review videos, a lot of good pictures on the listing, a lot of listing information, and a lot of high rated, uh, high quality Amazon products will have that. The second approach, which I talked about in other tutorials, is to actually search for these videos already online and then download them and pull the assets there and upload the videos as assets manually. That is an option in the beginning. Instead of clicking the link, you can upload individual assets manually and go that route. I've shown that in other tutorials. I will link one at the bottom of the description. But as you can see here, if we just search for water table pump, there's a ton of people making videos on this already. We can pull all of those. Look, this one got 1.1 million. This is the actual water pump right there. This one got 50,000, 20,000. That's a slightly different pump, but you get the picture. 53, 56,000. So there's a, this is actually a bigger mark than I expected. But let me just show you an example of the product videos that I actually created here. The next thing that you wanna do is select the style, right? So you can select full screen of an AI avatar actually just reading the script aloud and interacting. That can sound good and can look good. Although this is a product video, so we want the product to actually be the focus of the video mainly. So what I'll typically do is I'll pick the product as the main focus, or I'll pick the avatar in like the corner or the bottom with still the product, the main focus. And one of the cool things that Creatify AI just recently introduced is the AI avatars look great, believe it or not. So even if you pick one like this and you watch it over here, keep in mind that this is not how the preview looks, is not how the end result is gonna be. If you just watch the preview here, it's gonna look out of sync because the lips aren't fully synced up yet. It only fully syncs after you export the video to save time, to save data. And obviously, so you can't rip this video without actually exporting it from the website. But when you do export it, the lips will be synced up perfectly and it'll look great, so don't worry about that, right? Another cool innovative thing that they introduced to this is actually AI avatar emotions. So you can put an emotion on the actual AI avatar to make them smile, to give them a specific emotion that they'll then convey in the video and their entire emotion and the entire message of the video and theme will be based on that. So it's really cool. It's a new feature they just introduced. You could try it out as well. But for the sake of just showing you in this tutorial, I'm gonna click the product focus. And now we wanna go to the editor here so we can actually edit the video around and make it look great. 
there's a few things that you want to do when you actually get to the editor here so you can obviously play the video at any point you can see they made it 12 seconds long after the actual script is read so you can put your own voice over here if you want to mute it I'm just gonna go with the AI voiceover. It sounds great in my opinion. You also, in my opinion, wanna mute the music, not because the music doesn't sound good and add to the video, it does, but ultimately because every once in a while, I would say like once out of every 10 uploads in my experience, the music does get flagged for copyright. So you just wanna mute that and then manually add music in TikTok when you're uploading the video. You can see the captions here. So if you actually click on the captions, you can edit them and adjust them if they're not correct. Most of the time they are. You can also personalize them here. As you can see, you can make them look like this, which looks a lot better. You can make them blue and white. You can make them boxy. Although I typically go with the red or the blue. I think that that looks better. You can increase the size. You can make them bold or less bold. So there's a lot of functionality and a lot of editing that you can do with the captions to make them look great. If you did pick an avatar, you could change them here by clicking avatar. As you can see, another really cool innovative thing is if you upload another video of yourself actually talking, it will turn you into an AI avatar. So you don't actually need to be the person on camera, the human like I'm talking right now in the video because they will put you as the AI avatar talking and it's improving. It doesn't look 100% great yet, but it does look pretty good and it's getting better every single day. It is mind blowing. But you could also change the AI avatar over here. And then, like I said before, apply one of the emotions to them so that they're happy or they're sad or they're whatever it is, right? You could also add a CTA here. So I do this from time to time to test it. I don't, I haven't done it recently, but it used to work very well for me about a month or two ago. I would add a CTA at the very end of the video for like the last five seconds. And basically what that would do, it would be like a down arrow directly to the TikTok shop link, which will be right here. And basically just let them know that that's where they can purchase subtly, of course, if they were interested. But that only comes in at the end of the video and you can also adjust the time if you'd like. And perhaps the most important thing that you wanna do here is go to the assets and adjust the actual assets. So you can shorten the length of the video like you see here and make it just three seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds long and then add another asset to it in the timeline by dragging it in just like that. And then again, adjusting the time there. Then you can move them, mix them and match them so that it's constantly changing video to video or picture to picture. And then of course you can watch it to make sure that it actually looks good. Struggle to keep the kids water table flowing. This in now, this is exactly why I said you might not want to do the actual pictures because the videos often look a lot better. So we can just delete them out. Now we can scroll over to the actual videos here and you can add pictures, add videos accordingly and mix and match it around, right? Now, if you did want to adjust it a little bit, you could crop it, meaning you could move the actual part of the video because obviously a lot of these videos are going to be horizontal and your TikTok video is going to be vertical. So if you wanted to focus on a specific part of that, you could adjust it. If you wanted to move the actual time in the video that it's showing, you could adjust it this way. If you wanted to shorten the time frame, you could also do that as well. And this really gives you a lot of freedom to edit videos around, add different clips without having to manually do it in something like Premiere Pro or Final Cut yourself. And the AI does all that for you automatically. So this tool is a game changer for anybody that wants to test products without spending a lot of time or a lot of money in the beginning. Again, I typically use this just to prove the concept of products in the beginning, get a bunch of videos for a specific product that I'm testing up very quickly to see if it even works. And then if it doesn't work, obviously that means the product's the issue most of the time, and I'll move on to another well-researched product. But if I do get a few sales, then it proves the concept and it shows me that I want to then at that point, invest more time, invest more money into it, maybe outsource it or whatever the case is. So test this software out. It is a game changer if you're trying to scale a TikTok shop and you don't want to spend a lot of time testing and making videos yourself. This is a no-brainer. Hope it helps.